Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my very first vlog. This is going to be a day in the life of the boss bitch. But first, water. So my goal is to drink four of these per day. These are just the Starbucks venti cups because, you know, they're 24 ounces and I'd like to get 96 ounces of water. This is it's Tuesday because Christmas was on Monday. So, this is today's first step, which is my coffee. Not sponsored by Bottoms Up, but they are an amazing coffee shop in our town. And what I did was, rather than creamer, I used just plain almond milk. Should have seen it in the previous clip with some stevia. I am going to San Diego this weekend with my boyfriend. We're going to a lifestyle event. If you've followed me for any amount of time, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, with this event, there is going to be themes in which I will be scantily clad in very tiny clothing. And that's always exciting to me and it's fun. So I had fun over the holidays, like most people do, where I had family, I had friends, we had alcohol, we enjoyed foods, and I went into the holidays this year with the mindset and intent of I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm not going to be a glutton. You know, what baked goodies there are. I'm going to partake in some alcohol. I'm going to just be very intuitive. If I want something, I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, I'm not going to eat it, that type of thing. And now I'm going to sit on the couch. Um, I spend the first couple hours of my morning reading, learning, researching, taking notes, and then I launch into my day. Let's get started. I am making breakfast for myself and my mans. This morning, my breakfast is going to be a pack of instant grits, quick digesting. I don't feel bloated when I eat that. I'm gonna toss in some blueberries, and I'm also going to do some egg whites. It's gonna be pretty simple, pretty boring, but hits the spot. I don't mind it, and it's what I need for the goals at hand. Okay, we are now moving on with our day, and clearly, by the looks of this video, this is new territory for me with vlogging because, you know, we're doing our best, fam. <laughs> so this, it's about 10 o'clock this morning. The first couple hours of my morning are generally spent in solitude. So I intentionally get up at 5 a.m., which, snail mucin, if you have been in my parts for a while, not like in my parts, but like in my social media parts, you know that I'm not like the best morning person. And it's a challenge for me, which is interesting because <clears throat> I'm always toting the importance of getting up early and getting your workouts in, starting them before your day gets, you know, the best of you and all those things. And that's generally not my preference. However, the past few months have been a bit stressful with a lot of personal things I've been going through with just family. My mom was in the hospital. Um, I was moving um, my entire life uh, from one city to a new city, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but it's a huge deal. Um, I uprooted from where I lived for like 45 years, the majority of 45 years, the surrounding areas. And that means I left a lot of things behind that are important to me. I did not realize to the extent that that was going to impact my mental health. One thing that I had to do was 
restructure my schedule these past like few weeks in a way that makes sense for, for my productivity and my body, my self-care. Not even body goals because I have been in a space of just really like maintaining my physique and not really trying to grow any parts of my body. I'm quite content with the shape of my body and the amount of body fat that I have and all those things, which is, you know, it's been like a really challenging place to get to from being in a constant state of bodybuilding, which has been an incredible journey. Don't mind me while I put on my bougie deodorant. Um, it's been a constant journey to reshape my body for specific criteria for bodybuilding. Well, I'm not bodybuilding in the sense of competing any longer. So with that, my fitness looks different. And so what I also wanna make known in this video is that I'm gonna be sharing a lot of things that I'm doing currently to shed five pounds, which is not anything drastic. It's just a matter of changing some lifestyle tweaks that I already have set in place and some things that I've strayed from, which I will share with you guys over the course of these few days. Um, and we'll see how far I get with my vlogging journey. You guys listening, and maybe even you, listen because you want tips, tricks, and things of that nature when it comes to your own body shaping goals or competition. I am also going to create information for those that are necessarily want to do anything different with their body. Maybe they just have like mini goals here and there and they want to do what I'm doing right now, which is tighten up a little bit and de-bloat and just kind of get back to my health and wellness routine because mine has greatly suffered this last quarter of the year. So I did a deep dive into uh, some questions and they are questions that I found through Mel Robbins. So if you're familiar with the work of Mel Robbins, she does a lot of like mindset life stuff and she did a podcast and I sat down and did the work there with uncovering some questions I needed to ask myself before I head into the new year, right? And so with that, I took a look at what went well this year in terms of many areas of my life, health, wellness, fun, relationships, my purpose, my career, all of that. Took a broad look at that and I'm gonna be doing a workshop on that for the new year. So it will also include a lot of these tools that I did in her little mini online workshop. Amy Porterfield is another influencer that I follow and she said this very wonderfully where I don't want to share what I'm going through when it's in the oozing, like if you think of like a, a scab or a cut, right? And when it's fresh, it's like, it's oozing, it's messy, it's painful. And I've had some of those points this year that I don't share on social media. And so what I do is I get through it and I wait until it's not an oozy wound and it is a bit of a scab and I can go back without the emotion charged in that moment. So part of that is I had to sit down, get very clear. And one of the things I realized was that this last quarter was very chaotic. I absolutely stressed out a lot and I also had kind of a mental breakdown. I get very clear on what I want to achieve in the next year. And I had to get good at that. And I think this is a great lesson for those that don't have big goals because it can feel like, well, what am I doing this for? I'm just doing this because I want flat abs. It's not gonna be what fires you up in the morning when your feet hit the ground. I started with this mini goal, which is honestly, it's the jump start to the next goal. So it's just fighting 
cutting off small pieces. So this like lose five pounds goal is just to give me the forward momentum and the inertia to start changing the little things that I need to. I feel a lot better when I'm doing these things that I'm going to be sharing with you over the next few days. I feel a lot better. My mental clarity is better. My um, optimism is better. I'm less pessimistic and catastrophizing in my head. I'm gonna finish putting on my makeup here and I'm going to then go and start working, making content for you guys. So that's what I'm doing next. Just a short workout. How was it? Uh, I'm tired. You're tired. tired. It was delightful. Delightful. Delightful tiredness. We need some. This is what happens when you're a business owner and you have the keys to the gym. Hallelujah. Okay, so we just finished the gym, and my boyfriend owns two supplement shops and a gym. So we had to do business owner things and we had to come to one of the locations to pick up some things for the other location. So that's what we're doing. Okay, I am sucking at this vlog stuff. I'm trying to hire a new videographer. I'm freezing too, by the way. So my boyfriend's true, but I'm trying to hire a new videographer, videographer, however you want to say it, to capture content for Instagram, YouTube, all the things. And so I'm interviewing um, two videographers back to back. And so that was an hour long conversation. I did not leave enough time in between calls to eat a real meal. So I'm just having Hydro Pro, which is my favorite protein, whey isolate uh, protein, vanilla. And I'm gonna add some collagen. This is, um, it's called collagen peptides. They are not a complete protein source, but this is more for hair, skin, nails, uh, connective tissues, joints, all that fun stuff. And then I'm also adding Glumatic, which is glutamine with peptides in it as well. This is going to be my meal too. And I'm just gonna chug this back while I'm on this call with the second interview. Late and that's rude. So I'll probably wolf down some rice cakes too. I have been sitting all day and let's see, I'm at 2000 steps, which is actually an improvement from what I have been doing, which is at this time ending up with like 900 steps, but I've been up and down the stairs a few times today. So that's probably it. What I've been doing lately, just try to get out of my funk. If the weather is permitting, which it is today, I will set an alarm to get my ass out of the house at noon. That's the goal. Clearly today that did not happen. I had a couple phone calls with some videographers, which is exciting. So some fun content to come. And I will set a timer for 15 minutes. I'll walk and then I will turn around and go back. So it's about 30 minutes just to get out and get some movement. Sadly, I don't have Roger anymore. Roger, my dog, is no longer with me. He's still on this planet, but he's just not with me. So I don't have somebody that's staring at me with puppy dog eyes to get out of the house, unfortunately. Just follow me around the house until I would put my shoes on. Anyways, that's what I'm doing now. And yeah, just gonna enjoy some outdoor time. Back from my walk. I forgot it is not Monday. It is indeed Tuesday. And my daughter and I, she works for me 
and we have a standing Tuesday meeting. So I'm about to get on a Zoom with her for about an hour. Right now, the project we are working on is our membership portal for the Goddess Body Project. So we meet weekly to just see where we're at with the content for that and essentially all of the moving pieces for that membership portal. And very excited, this is a new project for 2024. I've done it before in 2016, but this time it is chef's kiss, top notch. So meeting time. One of the things that I am trying to get better at is having real dinner ready. And so I'm not scrambling to put something together and just kind of grab for just random, not great choices. I find recipes on Pinterest and I essentially make them a healthier version, okay? So one of those recipes is going to be Tuscan chicken. We're just gonna hope for the best, okay? So I'm gonna do this in a crock pot. I am a huge advocate of simplicity when trying to eat healthy. We pray that it's gonna be delicious <laughs> and we continue to eat it uh, for a couple days after. If you struggle with leftovers, my biggest tip is that you cook in a way that's pretty plain that allows you to change up the flavors as you go. So this recipe is pretty straightforward in that it's gonna be Tuscan chicken every day that we eat it. Okay, so I defrosted some chicken breasts yesterday and I seasoned them just with some Italian seasoning. And I'm just gonna place them in the bottom of my crock pot. Um, I'm already messing up. <laughs> I was supposed to spray it because we don't want to have to clean up a mess, okay? Um, spray your crock pot, don't be like me. It's probably two pounds of chicken breast. I'm just gonna lay them, they're already defrosted, they're pretty big. Just gonna layer, layer them down. They're gonna just take a little nap, all right? They're gonna take a five hour siesta. And then I'm not prepared, okay? Because, you know, this is not something that I normally do. We're going to mix the chicken broth. We aren't doing heavy cream because, you know, all the excess calories, while yes, it is gonna be quite delicious, um, it's still gonna be really flavorful without the heavy cream. So what I purchased instead was some cashew milk versus almond milk, because I feel like cashew milk is just a little more neutral. And then rather than chicken broth, I bought bone broth because this has 19 grams of protein for just this container. So it is a little richer in terms of uh, protein content. All right, ready, ready, ready. We're just gonna do that. Okay, this is my first time making this recipe, so we're doing this together. We're doing this together, fam. Instead of heavy cream, I'm gonna um, add in the cashew milk. Cooking influencers, because yo, that's not me. This is just real, real deal. So cashew milk is a little bit thicker th in consistency, so I decided to go with that. Let's pray for the best. And then we're gonna add in garlic and onions would go in now. I do not do garlic and onions. They just do not agree well with my body. So sad day, but. So we are gonna add in the chopped sun-dried tomatoes that are drained. Um, let's see how chopped these are. They're not. So we are gonna do that, a half a cup. It's probably gonna be this entire thing. Do as I say, not as I do, but you should probably not drain these in your sink. I'm gonna drain them in a bowl right here, just so that way I collect all the oils and I am not clogging up my drain, okay? So we have sun-dried tomatoes. All of the oil is drained out. Now, I believe you can find sun-dried tomatoes that are in water. So we're gonna take these sun-dried tomatoes and we're gonna give them a little chop, chop, chop. All right, so with this recipe, I am going to set it and forget it. Yeah, like don't lift the lid. Don't be doing that. Don't do that. You just, you just let all of that precious heat escape from the crock pot. 
that is assisting in the cooking process. So if you're ever in my kitchen and you see my crock pot going, do not lift the lid because we're gonna have some words. All right, so we are gonna take a half a cup measurement and we're just gonna loosely pack that in there and put it in our bowl, okay? We're gonna put these guys back. And then I believe the last step is to just whisk these bad boys up. Sunday, okay, the Parmesan cheese also. So I did go ahead and opt for the Parmesan cheese and we're gonna go a little bit, we're gonna go a little bit less cheese, okay? So we're using the third of a cup measurement. So we'll pour that in there, okay? So we are going to whiskity whisk, 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 okay? Nothing fancy here, y'all saw this all go down in real time. And I'm gonna pour this over the chicken in the crock pot. Oh, that sounds lovely. And hope for the best, all right? It is about three o'clock. This impromptu recipe I wanted to throw together because I wanted to have a respectable meal tonight that is not just plain ass chicken and rice or beef and rice. So I'm gonna put this in um, on the crock pot and gonna cook it on low. I always opt for the longer, slower cooked version. If you're in a hurry, obviously use the high function, but I like to use the low function. Allows it to kind of cook over time instead of at a rapid pace, and then it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna set this up and we'll see how it goes. All right, you guys, that is a full day vlog. Um, I missed my amazing dinner for you. I loved the Tuscan chicken. So FYI, that recipe was fire. So if you like experimenting with recipes, you might wanna try that one out. I'm just finishing my skincare routine. Um, it is imperative that you go to bed looking like a glazed donut for preserving your skin's elasticity and youthful glow. <laughs> so I'm headed to bed right now. It's about 10 o'clock and thanks for joining along. I hope you learned something, enjoyed something. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of my vlog, questions you have, videos you might want to see, something I missed. Let me know. Love y'all.